I am Nitesh Pradhan from Labion Multisim. In this video, I will explain how you can add multiple x axis in a single waveform graph using LabVIEW programming. So, let's get started. Okay, many times when we are uh, when we are writing a program or working on a project, we need to display more than one signal on a same graph. But because of each signal might have different range, we need multiple x axis to represent different data clearly. In this video, I will show you step by step how to design a waveform graph to add and configure multiple x axis and what small change you need to uh, you need to make in your graph property to achieve okay so now you can see here it is my now you can see here it is my waveform graph where you can see these two x axis parameters are here and then there is one time axis parameters is here i have written this program and i can write okay i can change the axis also based on my requirement okay so now i am going to show you how can we do this so for that open a new vi come here let's write a program to display a signal if I want to display a signal between minus 10 to 10, so for that, here I am taking this loop will run 100 times. Now I am writing this program. Using this program, I will able to generate the number from minus 10 to 10. And I want to maintain the my x axis from minus 50 to minus 50 to plus 50. Okay. Now I want to take the square square sorry uh, square of the my this signal i want to take the square of my this generated signal here i am taking so you know very well here we are getting here we will get one one dimension array i can display my one dimension array data in the waveform graph You can see here, we are able to display my data only, but we are not able to maintain the time axis or my x axis. So here I want to maintain my x axis. Okay. And it will start from the zero. So for that, we need to take one cluster. Okay. Take a unbundle, cluster unbundle. Sorry. Take a cluster bundle. Then take a numeric constant. Keep the value minus 50 then second one more numeric constant take give the value one connect both then make a connection like this then increase it and make a connection like this create level control a control u that's a rename Okay, control A, control U. Now you can see here in this program, my loop will run 100 times. It will generate value, I will generate value 0 to 99. So, based on this arrangement, my system will generate the number from minus 50 to uh, 49, minus 52 plus 49. And using this function, I will square it. And using this arrangement, using this bundle, I can distribute my data evenly and I can plot a proper graph here. Now you can see my this signal is starting from the minus 50 and it's going till plus 50. Okay. But suppose here I want to display one more data. Here I want to display one more data in the same waveform with a different parameters. Like if I will take, if I want to make a if I want to make a cube of the same signal, so let's take here formula node y capital okay y equal to x 
to the power 3 x multiply sorry with x multiply with x okay just a second x multiply with x multiply with x y now right click add input y sorry right click add input capital x right click add output capital y sorry small y now you can connect this one this data here and you can take the signal again and now i want to display this data in the same waveform so what can i do so for that you have to take the bundle data here right click first come to the array make a build array function add both both the array like this and like this and data like this now display okay now display your data now make a connection like this again now let's put the data here sorry here and it's my build function in that case if i will run the program so i will get two signals here i am getting two signals the blue one is representing the blue one is representing my number square number of minus 10 to okay square of my uh, square number of my uh, sorry minus uh, 52 plus 50 okay square root of my square for square of minus 52 plus 50 and the second one this plot number one is showing the cube of minus 52 plus 50 but due to the one due to the only one y axis parameter we are not able to display both the data in a correct manner so in that place you can right click you can right click in uh, in the amplitude you can right click on the amplitude or suppose if you are written the numbers and mbr numbers or va value so you have to right click on it and you have to click the duplicate scale now duplicate scale now try to run the program okay duplicate and now try to run the program so now here before that right click or right click on the plot tool okay open the properties in the plot two in the plot zero a value axis is there and in the plot one the value should be two okay let's try to run again so now you can see the program now we are able to display both the value okay so if you want so you can swipe the side so for the red one so for the red one we are getting this data right side data and for the blue one we are getting this data in that way you can display two and more than two signal you can display two and more than two signal and uh, with a different ranges so thank you for watching this video